Hello, welcome to Martin Made. My name's Stephanie, and today I'm gonna to be sharing my 17 and 18 week update. So this update's gonna be just a little shorter than the last one was. Um, this is only two weeks, so there's not very much to report about because there's not a whole lot that has happened since the last video. There's been a few things that are big that have happened, but um, nothing like crazy um, off the wall has happened. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this. Um, some of the things that have happened over the past few weeks, week 17, um, we had an ultrasound to check the hematoma and the hematoma, um, I don't know how that turned out. They don't usually tell us at the ultrasound place about the medical side of things. But while they were there, I did ask them if they could look at the gender and they did tell us the gender. Now they told us that it would be best to get it confirmed again. They they were pretty confident in what they told us, but they said they would prefer if we just double check before we start announcing it at our 20 week scan. So I was like, for sure, we just kind of wanted to know and if they could. So they told us the gender and we are excited. My next video will actually probably be the gender reveal as well as my update on the weeks um, as well. So life is starting to kind of get back to normal. Um, our house is back to kind of empty again. Um, my nephew was staying with us for a week and a bit and he is back home and we are kind of getting back into the routine of things. My husband's schedule is back to kind of normal. Um, sorry, this is my paper <laughs> with my notes, but um, everything's starting to feel like it's normal again. Then um, this past two weeks, I've really been feeling a lot of kicks, little tiny popcorn kicks, um, and they have been so much fun. Um, my husband will um, lay his head down on my belly or put his hands on my belly and try to feel the baby kicking. And so um, that's been a lot of fun. I have a little Doppler that I'll every so often I'll pull it out and we'll listen to the baby's heartbeat and um, all. It's been staying around 160. So that's been pretty consistent throughout my entire, most of my pregnancy now. It's been, the heart rate has stayed around 160. So um, I'm still under the restrictions until I hear back from my doctor. My doctor is not going to get a hold of me unless something is wrong, so I won't be seeing him until my 20-week prenatal visit. And so I will um, ask him about how my ultrasound went and if the hematoma is gone or if it's still there. So that's pretty much all that's happened this the past few weeks. So the next section I'm going to talk about cravings. I have had some cravings that have kind of popped up. I don't know if I had talked about this in my last video. I don't remember mentioning it, but um, I've been craving orange juice. I buy probably a couple jugs of it a week because I've been drinking it quite a bit. It's been something that I've really kind of gone to apart from my water for the day. I've been trying to, I've been drinking some orange juice. So um, which is good because I have iron deficiency, so I have to take iron daily, which you're supposed to take it with um, with something like orange juice, the vitamin C is great to take with it. And so I just usually take my iron with my orange juice and um, that helps that out. So I've, as far as feelings go, I have actually been feeling, a little bit better than what I was. I, what I'm as far as my um, sickness goes, I'm I'm actually getting over being sick. The past few times we kind of thought it might be pneumonia, and then it, everything started to get better, and then it started to get worse again, and now it's gotten better. I can actually breathe. I can talk without um, coughing up a storm, and so I'm starting to feel better from that. As far as the exhaustion goes. Every day is different. Some days I'm feeling horrible and tired and can barely make it to Silas's nap time. 
And other days I am great. I feel energized. I feel like I've got my head on my shoulders and I get a lot done. So I can't actually plan anything because I don't know what that afternoon is gonna bring. So it's been hard because of that, but some days I'll have a whole bunch planned for the afternoon and then I'm dead tired. And so I'll have to lay down and sometimes I'll sleep for like two to three hours. That's about the same time that Silas's nap is. And so depending on if my husband's here or not, it will depend on how long of a nap I can get. Um, so that has been how I've been feeling. I am actually starting to get excited. If you've ever struggled with carrying um, children, um, miscarrying a lot, um, infertility, you're just excited to get to the next step. Um, you're just praising the Lord that you have made it this far. And so that's kind of where we're at. We're beyond the first trimester and we're starting to get closer to the 20 week scan, which I'm getting a little nervous about. That's when Silas a lot showed up in his um, 20 week scan that scared us a bit. But even then, like it's all in God's hands and that's how we look at it. Um, no matter what it, the scan comes out, we know that the Lord has a purpose and a reason for it and we trust in him. And so that is pretty much how I've been feeling. I'm going to show you my bump now. I've, um, I am officially just past week 18. So that's why I'm doing my 17 and 18 week update. So here's the bump. So that is my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up so I know that you're enjoying these videos. And for those of you who are new to this channel and you would like to keep following me throughout my pregnancy, you can hit that red subscribe button down below um, and join us as well. Um, for those of you who would like to comment down below or you're expecting, um, let me know in the comments down below. That's so exciting to hear other people who are going through the same stages that you are. So I will talk to you in the next video and I can't wait to see you then. Bye. Bye.